Now let us solve the seventh one here. X is equal to 4 by 5 into x plus 10. So now we have to solve for x. There are x in two places in the left hand side and right hand side. First we will take all the x on the left hand side. So x is equal to 4 into x plus 10. This 5 we will take on the left hand side. So it becomes 5x. 5x is equal to 4 into x plus 10. So 5x is equal to 4 into x is 4x plus 4 into 10 is 40 plus 40. Now we will take 4x on the left hand side. 5x here it is plus 4x and it goes on the left hand side it becomes minus 4x. 5x minus 4x is equal to 40. That means the value of x is 40. Now we have to verify. To verify we will put the value of x in the question here. So x is equal to the original question is x is equal to 4 by 5 into x plus 10. Okay. Now x is 40. The value of x is 40. 40 is equal to 4 by 5 into x plus 10. 40 plus 10. 50. Now 5 1s are 5 10s are. Now 40 is equal to 4 into 10 is 40. So we got LHS is equal to RHS. So we have checked the results. We have verified the result. Now let us solve for the 8th one. 2x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7x by 15 plus 3. Now we will take x terms on the left hand side. So 2x by 3 as it is. 7x by 15 comes on the left hand side. Minus 7x by 15 is equal to 3 remains as it is. 1 we will take on the right hand side. It becomes minus 1. Okay. Now we will take the, we will make the denominators equal. We will take the LCM of 3 and 15. Now the LCM of 3 and 15 is 15. Okay. Now 3, 5s are 15. So 2x also we have to multiply with 5. 2x multiplied by 5 becomes 10x. Now 15, 1s are 15. So 7x remains as it is. Minus 7x is equal to 3 minus 1. That is 2. Now 10x minus 7x upon 15 equal to 2. 15 we will take on the right hand side. So 10x minus 7x is equal to 2 upon here it is divided by 15 it becomes multiplied by 15. So 10x minus 7x is 3x. 3x is 30. So the value of x is 30 upon 3. See here it is 3 is multiplied with x here. It goes on the right hand side it becomes divided by 30. So 30 upon 3 is 10. So, the value of x is 10. Now, let us put the value of x in the question. That is 2x by 3 plus 1. 2x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7x by 15 plus 3. Now, 2x. Instead of x, we will put 10. 2 into 10. That is 20 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 into 10. 7x seven is 7 into 10. 70 by 15 plus 3. Okay. 20 by 3 minus we will take 70 by 15 here. Up minus 70 by 15 is equal to 3 minus 1. So, we will see here 15. Here the LCM is 15 again. 3 5s are 15. 20 5 is 100. 100 minus 70 upon 15 is 3 minus 1 is 2. 100 minus 70 is 30. 30 upon 15 is 2. So, 2 is equal to 2. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, the, we have verified the answer. We have checked the results for the 8th one. Now, let us solve the ninth one. 
2y plus 5 by 3 is 26 by 3 minus y. Okay, now we will take all y terms on one side. 2y minus y is equal to 26 by 3 minus 5 by 3. See, 5 by 3 we have taken on the right hand side. Plus becomes minus. Minus y we have taken on the left hand side. Sorry, it becomes plus. So, minus y becomes plus. 2y plus y is equal to 26 by 3 minus 5 by 3. Now, 2y plus y is 3y. 3y is equal to 26 by 3 minus 5 by 3. Since the denominators are same, we can easily subtract. 26 minus 5 is 21. So, it is 21 by 3. So, y becomes 21 by 3. Here it is multiplied by 3. So, it becomes divided by 3. So, we can also write it as 1 by 3. So, yeah. 21 by 3 into 1 by 3. It is 3 here. It, it comes on the right hand side. It becomes 1 by 3. So, 21 by 3 is 3 ones are 3. 3 sevens are 21. So, the value of y is 7 by 3. This is the answer for y. Now, let us check the results. To check the results, in the question itself, we have to put the value of y. The question is 2y plus 5 by 3 is equal to 26 by 3 minus y. So, we will put the value of y here. 2 into 7 by 3 plus 5 by 3 is equal to 26 by 3 minus 7 by 3. Okay, 2 7s are 14. 14 by 3 plus 5 by 3 is equal to, see the denominators are same, we can easily subtract. 26 minus 7 will become 19, 19 by 3. 14 plus 5, the denominators are same, so 14 plus 5 is 19. 19 by 3 is equal to 19 by 3. See here, the left hand side and right hand side, LHS and RHS are equal, so we have check the results it is y by 3 y is equal to 7 by 3 that is the correct answer now let us solve the 10th one 3m is equal to 5m minus 8 by 5 so we will take m terms on the left hand side 3m here 5m is plus we will take on the left hand side it becomes minus 5m 3m minus 5m is minus 8 by 5 so, 3m minus 5m is minus 2m. Minus 2m is minus 8 by 5. When both are negative, we can cancel minus and minus. So, 2m is equal to 8 by 5. So, the value of m will become, m will be 8 by 5. Here, it is 2 is multiplied with m. So, it goes here, it becomes divided by this. So, it becomes 1 upon 2. So, the value of m is 8 by 10. This is m. Okay. Now, we will check the results by putting the value of m as 8 by 10 in the question. The question is 3m is equal to 5m minus 8 by 5. Okay. 3 into 8 by 10 is equal to 5 into 8 by 10 minus 8 by 5. 3 8s are 24. 24 by 10 is equal to 5 8s are 40. 40 by 10 minus 8 by 5. Okay. Now 24 by 10. LHS remains as it is. Now we have to take the LCM. LCM is 10. 40 minus 5 2s are 10, so 8 2s are okay. 16. So 40 minus 16 is 24, 24 by 10. LHS is also 24 by 10. See, here, both LHS and RHS are equal. So we have checked the results for the 10th one. This video is a continuation of exercise 2.1 class 8. The link of the first 6 sums is given below. Please check. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.